when I think about being on the edge of an abyss, I often think about the divine feminine being in me, the part that holds. It's a part in all of us who have the divine, we all have divine feminine in us. We get to hold a container of assurance of mothering. It's not just a, a biological thing, it's a spiritual thing. To let that cup be strong and held and blessed and care. not just comfortable. I mean, it's not comfortable in the beginning of an abyss because we don't really know. And we as human beings, as we are right now, we live in the addiction to wanting to know. We live in the place of being in control of how things will work out. So the unknown is kind of like, this ain't my game. <laughs> this is not the way I want to be. I want someone to tell me and then I'll just relax. You tell me what's going to happen on the other side of the abyss, and then I'll just relax. But the fact is, we don't know. So we can call on that divine feminine that's within us all to receive the constant creative process that's coming, that union that is, um, that is the way the design is. It's how the creative process works. It's how creation happens. But when we separate those things, when we don't pay attention, to what's coming and we also don't hold the edge of the abyss is damn frightening at least it is for me it has been for me i now have a very different perspective because i believe there's a part of me when i get to an abyss as hard as it feels like it's scary I, things are dying i don't know what's going to happen i'm feeling um darkness there's a small part of me that's growing going yippee like, I cannot wait to see what's coming because I happen to be in this position on purpose. You know, how come you get to the edge of the abyss? Because you kept saying yes, yes, yes. You kept moving forward and saying yes to what's right in front of you to bring the sun, to bring what's glorious into this moment. And then all of a sudden you're bringing the glory and it feels like nothingness or vacancy, or the biggest one for me, failure. This isn't not how I expected it would feel. This is not the way I thought it would work out. A couple um, weeks ago, David said in um, one of his pulses of spirit, we often feel um, there's nothing I can do. And I realized it's, there's nothing I can do to get it work, to work out the way I thought it was gonna work out. That's the nothing. But what I can do is I can be thankful that I happen to be the one standing right here because I said yes and yes and yes. I happen to be the one standing here seeing the promised land. There it is. I don't know what it's gonna look like. It's a little scary. I hope I have the right tools. And the biggest tools are gratitude and surrender. So we, nobody's gonna take those away from me or you.